never fails when you get out on a water trap line you're gonna have some triggers that break on your conibears and uh, you know it, at the time when they break you know unless you got a couple extras you may have to make do and uh, you know an easy thing to a way to make do is if you've got some trap wire which most time water trapping you do you know if you just got one if you still got one trigger wire you know you can kind of situate it where it it takes up and covers most of the area but if you got some just some of your regular trap line wire you can take it and run it through run it through your trigger somehow ever how you can figure out to to do it and fashion you a trigger you know you're not going to want to leave this trigger on here for very long or forever uh, anyways but you know as long as you need to if you're out on the trap line you don't necessarily probably want to want to call it quits um, especially if you got find a good spot and you need another need another conibear so I take it and run it through the center somehow wrap it around and I'll take a you know a pair of lineman pliers that's a vital thing to have on the water line grab it and kind of give it a pretty good twist to make everything tight on there and then you can then you kind of fashion it you know however however you like to have your trigger fashioned and then you know make sure that'll that'll move you in you know that's a makeshift makeshift trigger it'll get you through like I say it's, you don't want to leave that on there forever but it'll get you through a day or two until you can get a get a trap out there to replace that one or get a replacement trigger on it but once you get a replacement trigger this is how you replace the trigger of course you need a replacement to replace it with and different traps will have different styles you know some of them come uh, close at the top these particular this is Bilal so they close at the bottom um, but and these are bolted together with a let's see was a 3 8 lock nut so it's pretty darn easy and straightforward to replace these um, now some kind of bears will just have a, a rivet in there and so you may have to drill that rivet out to get your old to get your old uh, old trigger off and then what I would suggest is you know putting a if you can if it makes sense if it's applicable if you can putting your new uh, multitask here can't talk and operate at the same time putting your new trigger on with a with a lock nut or screw if like I say if you can but so this one you just take that lock nut loose prize that apart ever how you can pull all this other stuff out of the way go get that out of the way and now you're ready for your new trigger and it's pretty basic setup now with these Bilal's you can see there's a square side and a round side and the square side is what your nuts or your your bolts gonna go into to keep it to keep that side from turning so just pay attention to that so you're just gonna put it on there put your trigger in where my channel locks at squeeze it together and then put your new nut and bolt in there set a lock nut pretty handy it makes this process a whole lot easier than trying to drill out the rivet and replace that and then you just tighten that baby on down as tight as you need it and you're back in business then you can adjust your trigger ever how you want it and you're ready to go of course if your traps are already dyed you may want to spray paint these or have some of these dyed ahead of time Bilal's they come in pretty handy packs um, with everything you need to replace the trigger so it never hurts to have several extras in a shed so when you run across a situation like this I mean as easy as these are you can change these on the line if you need to so 
never hurts to have a few extra dogs. Uh, if you don't, make sure you get some trapping wire, some kind of backup plan. If you do have an issue and your and your wire, your trigger breaks, that you can uh, at least keep those traps in action as long as you need them to.